Hi, I'm Rory and in this video we're going to take a quick look at how to use the Comrec module in Studio by Commend using the web client. Of course, a great benefit of using the web client is that it means that you do not need to install any software on the PC. You can access Studio just by using a browser. So here we are in Chrome and I just need to log in. So I'm going to use my username and password and my current control desk is F351. I'll now click on the Recordings tab and this will show me all the recordings that are on the system. If I want to show more, I can choose from the options down here. We can give ourselves a little bit more room by pressing on this button here. And here we can now see our list of recordings. If we would like to filter on these, it's really easy. We simply start typing here. So let's say we want to find all the recordings for the name Help Point. We just start typing Help. It will automatically then populate just the ones with Help Point. I'll remove that again and that should bring us all our recordings back. You can also filter using the date pickers. So you can choose a start date and you can choose an end date. This is really useful if you're looking for a recording within a specific time period. Once you've found the recording you're looking for, simply press on it and it will open up this panel here. In here are all the most important details so we can see the duration of the recording, the calling numbers involved and the names. If we'd like to preview the recording, we simply press start. Test message one, two, three, four. Let's say we needed to email this recording to someone. We'd need to export it. We can adjust the length of the recording with the start and finish sliders here. For now, I'll export the whole recording. We then simply press the export button. This will then download a zip file, which is all ready for sending. If we examine the contents of the zip file, we can see that it contains an HTML file and a WAV file. The WAV file is the recording itself and the HTML file holds all of the details for the recording. If we look inside the HTML file, we can see all of the important details of the recording, as well as a preview player. Test message one, two, three, four. Some other quick interesting features to note is we can select the columns by pressing this button and then selecting additional information to be displayed or removed. When we're done, we just simply press this button to log out.